double evil are you in? She was once considered the most beautiful woman in the world, so beautiful that she played Cleopatra. Now, after her death, fans of Elizabeth Taylor can still get close to her through her letters. We do a lot of cool segments here on the show. This could be one of the coolest. Joining us to talk about those love letters and some other uh, member, celebrity memorabilia is Bobby Livingston of R&R &R Auction. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. I'm going to put you on blast here for a second. What's the most expensive thing that you all have obtained? The most expensive uh, letter we ever sold was a letter from William Travis, the commander of the Alamo, the day the Mexican army showed up. He, he needed wow. food for his troops, and so he, he gave somebody an IOU for 40 cows. And so uh, he, he was obviously never able to pay them, but we sold that receipt for maybe $175,000. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Cool. Now, the royal wedding just happened, so I'm sure a lot of people want to get a piece of that. How much do you think something from the royal wedding would go for? Oh, uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars. That I think you know, well, uh, the, you know, Diana's dress is just sold for record number so yeah I think something from that wedding would be just as valuable wow speaking of valuable there's some really valuable things that you brought here onto our set one of the things that I, I have to mention is over here Elizabeth Taylor love letter so basically when she was 17 years old she had a love and she wrote all of these letters to him that you all have now obtained so just give us the backstory sure Elizabeth Taylor went to visit Miami Beach she was already a big star she had done National Velvet and she was visiting uh, Miami Beach, fell in love with a guy named William Pauley, who's in that picture right there. Uh -huh. uh, and, and still alive today. <laughs> <laughs> He's 90 years old. But anyway, from the moment she left him till they broke up uh, eight months later, she wrote him over eight, uh, 60 times. And so we have all those letters in one big archive, and it's an incredible look into a chaste and pure Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, yeah. before who, she... who was a, a hopeful romantic. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, the things that she wrote in these letters, signed it, your bride-to-be, your wife-to-be, I love you so much, love you, love you. Love you love you I saw on some of them just repeating it I mean she was she, this guy meant everything to her but they didn't go on to get married no uh, he, he got jealous and they they broke up when she signed a new two-year contract with MGM wow. but the, 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 the neatest thing is I think is that he gave her her first diamond ring it was a white diamond ring mm -hmm. and one of the letters he gets jealous and demands it back and she says I'll send it back and she does but she says my heart is embedded in the center of it and I just thought oh isn't that beautiful wow that's really beautiful yeah. wonder if that's where white diamonds came from from, I know, think that, you know, she uh, certainly had a passion for them, and that was her first, so you'd have to think that White Diamond, her perfume line, and her uh, love of jewelry and her big million-dollar uh, billion dollar collection of jewels came from this experience with Polly. Yeah, well, now you have some other cool things here. I know you're holding ah. something that Mitch got very excited about, Sammy Davis Jr.'s passport. What? Look at this. Check that out. How wow. crazy is that? Look at that cool picture of Sammy that Davis Jr. That is unbelievable. Jr. And, and how, right, now, these right are on here. consignment, you said, That's how you right. all obtain these. The, you brought a lot of cool stuff. We're going to show them to you later. We have, um, who else is up here? Marilyn Monroe, Charlie Chaplin, with so many of them, and we'll, uh, we'll give you more information on it as the show goes on. And if you want just to read up on some of these letters, you can find them on our website, which is dailybuzznow.com. While you're there, go ahead and click on the Rebuzz tab.